Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm getting over a cold, so excuse my voice. I just kind of wanted to do more like weekly vlog style videos where I just pick up the camera when I'm doing fun stuff. I have some fun fashion stuff to share with y'all, some baby stuff, and um, I'm going to be cooking something later, so I thought I would just pick up the camera whenever I have stuff to share. I actually got a new vlog camera thanks to my girl Aisha Haroon. If you guys don't follow her, you should definitely check out her channel. Um, but yeah, she got a new vlog camera and I loved the quality and I've been just like thinking about upgrading and I really love it. It's the Canon... Um, m50 i think it's called i don't even know i just literally bought whatever she said to buy <laughs> so i love it um let me know what you guys think about the audio and the quality and stuff also this lens is like a super wide angle so you can definitely now see like all my junk in this corner that i'm usually able to hide <laughs> And I was testing it around my house and I'm like, oh no, you can see every little mess <laughs> with this lens. I can't just like stay in a corner and like hide myself anymore. So anyways, um, I haven't actually vlogged in about a week and I took about a week off social media. I truly needed a social media break. I cannot tell you guys how beneficial it was for me. And I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about my experience because I know that it can help so many of you guys too. So 2020 was extremely hard on my mental health. I never really opened up to you guys about it. I always just tried to like put on a smile and ignore and just keep going. But it just got to the point where I was so anxious getting on my Instagram, like getting on my stories. I just felt like I couldn't be myself because of online negativity and just hateful comments and just people just being so nasty and <clears throat> I know that I have people around me who love me and I know myself and I know that the majority of you are so kind and supportive and sweet but it just I'm human and it just gets to me and I'm a very very sensitive person so I'm gonna be unplugging a lot more often and I highly recommend you guys do the same you don't have to do a whole week because man that was definitely hard <laughs> even if it's just like for one day I feel like it can just help you refocus and recenter and just help you focus on what is important anyways I am about to go film something for my Instagram I'm making black bean and sweet potato balls so I'll um, take you guys with me as I make that because I think it's gonna be really yummy um, but I have to show you guys some not like a new fashion things that I just got so I'll show you guys what I'm wearing okay side note I was looking at pictures of myself from when I was pregnant and I miss my lips when I was pregnant so much I look back at pictures and I'm like I literally look like I had fillers in my lips they were like so plump and beautiful and then they just kind of like I mean obviously I'm so thankful for the lips that I have but I was like trying to figure out how to make them look the same and so there's this new thing that all the cool girls are doing on like TikTok and reels <laughs> and you basically take lip liner and you just go straight across your cupid's bow and that kind of gives you like a more pouty like kim kardashian look apparently so we are trying that today let me know if it if it's working for me <laughs> okay i'm still working with all the settings on this camera but overall i'm so happy i feel like it just looks brighter and it's like the most gloomy day today. So this just literally makes me so happy. I wanted to share my outfit that I've been wearing nonstop. It's just like a really simple sweater dress and faux leather leggings. But the main thing that I think you guys will be very excited about are these shoes because they are designer inspired. I had the Gucci black loafers and the pink and they just really weren't my... I don't know I just feel like I spent way too much money on them and they weren't like my exact style I got the wrong colors for my wardrobe when I saw these on Amazon for 60 bucks I was like okay I'm trying them <laughs> so um, I got them in this beige color I'll show these more up close in a second and this like cream but you guys the shape is exact here they are up close and I cannot get over the shape you guys it's like pretty much spot on especially even the clasp is like the exact shape to the real one and the fur is a really good quality i wore these all day yesterday around my house they are so comfortable and they do run true to size i got my regular size nine and they fit me perfectly i probably would never buy the authentic version of these with the fur so having these be only 60 bucks i was like it's a no-brainer so I will link these and I'm so glad that I actually have colors now in these shoes that will work with my wardrobe. I think if I had originally gotten the Gucci loafers in a white or a beige, I would have gotten so much more use out of them. I will link these below. They have other colors as well. This sweater dress is one from Express that I've been wearing nonstop. I literally have been throwing on these faux leather leggings and this sweater dress for probably the past 
three days. <laughs> okay, I have everything laid out to make my black bean and sweet potato power bowls. I have some quinoa going in the rice cooker right now. I'm gonna be putting black beans, corn, sweet potato. I'm gonna saute some onions and um, bell pepper. I'm gonna have some avocado as well. So um, this is gonna be super simple, super fresh. So let's get started. so I can assemble my bowl and I have a little bowl of sweet potato for Elena that I'm gonna mash up. Um, I went ahead and added the same spices that I added to the beans to the sweet potato and a little bit to the corn. Um, I'll put everything in the description box. I'm gonna be making a blog post on this. delicious i am so excited to dig in and like i said the recipe will be on my blog and yeah it was super simple i think this took me like maybe 45 minutes and i have extra for the next couple days somebody just woke up i'm feeding her some of the sweet potato um i wanted to show you guys the high chair because the last time i showed it it wasn't complete but we got all the legs all wooden now and it looks so cute i'm just waiting on the um the cushion and then I also got this silicone little tray cover and this really pretty blush pink <gasps> is it yummy? Is it yummy? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I need to get her next thing that I need to get is a bib that like she can just wear as a shirt have you guys seen those <laughs> Okay, I just got in a package from this brand called Scandi Born. I ordered a bunch of like silicone plates and bowls and cups and a long sleeve bib for her. Now that Elaine is almost six months, we're going to be starting the baby led weaning. Honestly, I'm going to probably do a mix of just spoon feeding her pureed foods and the baby led weaning. I'm learning a lot more about it. There's a course I'm taking called Feeding Littles. I'll link that below. So if any of you guys are also at the stage where you're starting solids for your baby. It's been really helpful and I've been learning a lot. If you guys haven't heard of baby led weaning, it's basically where they learn to feed themselves. So you offer them safe foods on their tray, on their high chair, and they can like pick it up and feel it and like put it in their mouth and just explore. And it's just, I don't know, it's so amazing to like learn about it. Okay you guys, I came into Elena's room to grab something and Lauren came over and helped me organize all of her drawers. They look so much better. I think now that her clothes are bigger, I just like haven't, I haven't properly like gone in and organized again. And she went in and rolled everything. Look at that, all her blankets and swaddles. I wanted to talk about the diapers and wipes we've been loving for Elena and this is not sponsored. I just am absolutely obsessed and I had to share it with all of you mamas because it is so good. So these are the softest most comfiest diapers you will ever feel in your entire life and you will not want your baby to wear anything else. They did send me a pack um, a few months ago to try out, but I have since ordered tons and tons more boxes of diapers and wipes from them because I am just, I literally don't want to be without them. Their wipes, you guys, are the best. They are unscented and they just glide over her skin like nothing else. I honestly wish I had used these from the beginning because I have been using water wipes, but even even the water wipes, because they're just water, I guess, they don't glide over a baby's skin like super easily. And these are so, so soft and gentle on a baby's skin. Like, I wish I'd used these in the newborn stage for her because her skin was so sensitive. I will link these below for you guys because they are the best and I promise you guys, you will love them. Hey guys, it is a couple days later. I just got out of the dentist and I got my bottom retainer removed a couple of weeks ago and it feels so much better not having metal on the back of my teeth. It was bothering my tongue so bad. Every time I spoke, it would literally make my tongue raw. I don't know. It just did not work for me, so I got a clear one, a clear retainer that I can wear at night now. 
so much better and I'm also going to be getting my teeth whitened so my teeth aren't like that yellow but I just I don't know I just I remember them being so much whiter when I was younger like especially in high school I had like really white teeth so I want to get back to that it's because I used to do crest white strips all the time but I just haven't been doing that <laughs> recently at all because my teeth are so sensitive. So I was going to do the professional whitening at the dentist, um, but you guys, I don't know what I signed up for because they gave me this like whitening stuff to do at home and I have to whiten my teeth every single day for two weeks and then do the in-office. So I don't know what the heck I signed up for because I really just wanted to like go in office and get my teeth whitened and come home with white teeth, but maybe that's like too harsh I don't know anyways I will update y'all on that once I go in for my in-office <laughs> okay I just got back home and I'm going to film a reel so one of my goals this year is to be a lot more active on reels and TikTok I feel like that is just where I'm lacking right now in my content so I'm gonna try to put together some more fashion family funny ones I don't know I have a bunch of ideas but if you guys have any requests for like popular reels or TikToks that I should do leave it in the comments and like tag me and like on Instagram and stuff and let me know what I should do because I need more ideas but I'm putting together an outfit one right now so I have three different monochromatic looks I borrowed this teddy coat from my sister Lauren it is so cute it's from boohoo I actually have the white one so um, I have three different looks that I'm gonna do a little outfit reels so I'll put you guys on the tripod here while I work on that and hopefully don't make myself look like an idiot because I feel like sometimes I feel like I'm not cool enough for these things especially when I put the song I'm like oh god like I know they're popular and everything but I kind of feel like I'm not cool enough so guys yesterday my camera actually died while I was filming the reels so that was kind of a fail but today is Friday and we always have our like weekly meetings on Fridays me and Amanda we try to plan out content for the next week what's going on YouTube what's going on the blog what's going on Instagram like just trying to figure out which days to shoot and all that good stuff so we are gonna go do that today but to get out of the house we're actually gonna go to a coffee shop today because we are just so over being in the house so i got myself ready got elena ready i'm gonna drop her off at my mom's house so she'll watch her while we go do our meeting lauren's actually gonna come to our meeting as well because she has been kind of helping me a little bit as well recently yeah it's like a family effort this this channel and everything that i do is a family effort okay. so let's go we just parked um at the coffee shop lauren here with me hey. we are waiting on amanda and <laughs> we're terrible she oh told God, us text that. me whenever you're on your way and we completely forgot we we're not responsible i really did forget for that. well lena texted her like i'm on my way to pick me up like to drop off elena and pick me up i know so i just like forgot to say we were on the way to the yeah. coffee shop and anyways we got here we're like where's amanda <laughs> And we text her and she's like, really guys? I'm still at my apartment, I'm so. I'm like, oh my god. And it's Whoops. like downtown, so there's a parking meter and we don't have yeah. any coins. I have so. no coins. We're waiting for Mendo, we need that too. I'm like, okay, and when you leave, can you get some quarters with you? <laughs> we need quarters. <laughs> Hello. Hey, where are y'all? Hey, are you here? Yeah. Okay, we are parked on the left side of the coffee shop. Okay, do you still need quarters? I didn't yes. have these quarters. Oh. Did you have a parking meter? Yeah, but I used a card. Oh. Ours didn't have a slot. It has a card slot? Oh, uh, well, I have a bunch of quarters. I'll just come to you. Do you see okay. us? Um, no. Oh, you're going oh, the wrong no. way, wrong way. Other left. Very far. I see you. What the if? I swear to God. <laughs> I'm pissed. You guys are supposed to tell me Ella we left. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Well, we Extra were. Pissed. We really. Well, me and Lena started talking about other things, and we just. Yeah, you know, we weren't worried about you. Yeah. Also, you need quarters. <laughs> Please, Please, we don't want our car money. to get towed. Just kidding. Okay, we'll see okay. you in a sec. Okay, okay. bye. Where is she? There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, Amanda, for saving me. I should have been the same outfit. Yeah. So but cute. Shoes. They're almost the same jeans. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh, you guys you. are so adorable. Oh, thanks, Lena. You look cute. cute. I wish I had Thank those you. Too. Me too. They're Thank so cute. You. <laughs> Got our food. 
we got avocado toast. It has sesame seeds on it and feta cheese and balsamic vinegar and it looks so delicious. Got a decaf almond milk latte. And I also got a hot tea because I have to have my drinks. <laughs> Good, but how long were we there? I feel like we spent kind of oh, like two like hours. Oh, maybe like two hours. It's 12 now. I didn't realize that. Okay. So we're we going to go. Towed. <laughs> no, yeah, our car is still here, thankfully. So we are going to go pick up Elena. I'll probably work on, um, I'll probably work on my computer for a little while at Mama's house. That sounds good. I need to study a little bit more. Good. I am now home. Elena is down for a nap. I was going to like get on my laptop, answer emails, and do a little bit more work at my mom's house. But as soon as I got there, Elena went to nurse and she wanted me to hold her. And like I literally could not get anything done. So I just left and came home for her to like nap here. She does she doesn't sleep well at my mom's house at all, even for naps. Whenever I have her over there, she has to be held for naps, which is a very bad habit at this stage because we've been working very hard on like laying her down for her naps over here. So I had just had to come home and let her nap here so that I can get some stuff done. I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I've been working on. So one of my goals this year is to redesign my blog and get my branding like on point because I've always kind of just done it myself um, and my branding has been pretty generic and not very like unique to me. So it's still gonna be the same style because I do have like a certain aesthetic that I love. It's that like neutral, feminine, classic, pinky, rosy vibe. Um, so I made a Pinterest board, like kind of like a mood board of like what I'm going for with my blog and like basically a new like logo and just like design of like everything that I create for with Lovelina as a brand. I have like the makeup style I like, like the clothing, like the elegance, like the glowy makeup, like the colors. So this is what I've been working on. And honestly, as I was doing like a social media cleanse, I spent a lot of time on Pinterest and I just was able to get so much more inspired. And yeah, I just would recommend any of you guys who are needing a little break, to head on over to Pinterest because you can just get so much more inspired for your life without like all the noise, you know what I mean? You guys. <laughs> So I got the Jolly Jumper for Elena a few weeks ago, and I haven't been putting it, her in this consistently, honestly, but we're gonna try now to do it again. Mommy, oh my gosh, are you serious? You are so cute. Mommy, can you jump for me, please? Can you jump? She hasn't truly figured out how to actually jump yet. She just kind of hangs and maybe bounces a little bit but it's so cute i cannot wait till she figures it out it's so adorable sorry i have it wrong sorry mommy i didn't know is that better i sorry is that better now Okay, it's a couple days later. Today we were actually filming our house tour, finally. So I was just gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes of what we're doing. And before we film, I am gonna kinda like straighten up and just make sure it's like 100% perfect. Right now, I have my sisters, my baby, Hello. in the kitchen. Like? I'm about to put show together. Elena's outfit. Oh, let me show you. Oh my god, she looks like an angel. Mm -hmm. oh. She's too fabulous for us, actually. Yeah, she doesn't have time for us. She's too fabulous. I ran into H&M the other day, or actually yesterday, Oopsie. and I picked up the really cute fur faux fur vest but it's actually for like a 3t but I was like I'm getting it <laughs> anyways adorable yeah. um, and I'm gonna put together a little flower arrangement so I can pretend like this is what my house always looks like obviously not you guys see it in the vlogs all the time <laughs> yeah, it'll be pretty and I'm also gonna remove the baby gear as well anyways you guys see what it really looks like obviously but yeah let's put together this flower arrangement Okay, here is 
the final result with the arrangement. Now we just have to straighten up and get to filming. Did you drink that much of it? Okay, my house has literally never been will this never perfect be and will never be this perfect ever again. <laughs> ever. But you guys, I'm definitely, this is not going in the house tour. This is where all the junk went. That's <laughs> not going in the tour, the swing, dishes, who knows what we just put behind this corner over here. So <laughs> that's just real life for you. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. I'll um, link below the home tour whenever that's up, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.